Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. An augmented triad is a chord made up of two major thirds and augmented fifth. The term augmented triad arises from an augmented triad being considered a major chord whose top note fifth is raised. When using popular music symbols, it is indicated by the symbol plus or august. For example, the augmented triad built on A, written as A plus, has pitches AC. The chord can be represented by the integer notation 0, 4, 8. Analysis whereas a major triad, such as C, E.G., contains a major third C, E, and a minor third E.G., with the interval of the fifth C.G. being perfect, the augmented triad has an augmented fifth becoming C, E.G. In other words, the top note is raised a semitone. H.R. Palmer notes, the augmented chord, which appears upon three of the minor key, is commonly found upon one, four, or five of a major key. In its resolution, the fundamental may either remain stationary, descend five degrees, or ascend four degrees. The third may either ascend a minor second, I plus for an I plus for 64, or remain stationary, I plus 663, and the fifth ascends a minor second. The inversions of the augmented chord may also be used I plus 64 and I plus 64 for six. The augmented chord on I may contain the major seventh, I-75, or I-65, while the augmented chord on V may contain the minor seventh, V-75, V-65, or V-43. In C, C, E, G, B, and G, B, D, F, the augmented triad on the V may be used as a substitute dominant and may also be considered as three plus. The example below shows 3 plus as a substitute dominant in an IVI turnaround in C major. C, for example, Henry Purcell's Dido and Aeneas. In popular music examples of popular music songs featuring the augmented chord include its use in the introduction of Chuck Berry's School Days, Aaron Neville's Tell It Like It Is, The Beatles, Oh, Darling, after intros in Gene Pitney's Town, Without Pity, the Beach Boys' The Warmth of the Sun, Joe Cocker's Delta Lady, At the End of the Bridge and Patience and Prudence's Tonight You Belong to Me, The Caravels' You Don't Have to Be a Baby to Cry, The Beatles' From Me to You, The Dave Clark Five's Glad All Over, and Martha and the Vandellas' Dancing in the Street. One of the few examples of an augmented chord on the opening downbeat is in the Carmen Lombardo song Seems Like Old Times. In Barbershop Memories, Book 2, the four-part vocal score for the song, in the key of F, uses BD, F to harmonize the downbeat as 4 plus, the inharmonic equivalent of 6 plus. An augmented chord also harmonizes the opening downbeat of the chorus of the 1908 song Shine. On Harvest Moon, heard at the beginning of the 1931 recording by Ruth Eddy. Other examples of the augmented chord include its use as a chromatic passing function over the first degree, the rising to then harmonized as 4, as in J and the American Some Enchanted Evening. Leslie Gore's It's My Party, I, I plus for four. See also minor major seventh chord, Herman's Hermits. There's a kind of hush, continues to seven harmonized by M7, by two Roy Orbison's crying, followed by six, six. Five motion and crying, the guess who's laughing, Dave Clark fives because verse, I, I plus six, M7, two in cadence on V plus. The monkey's tapioca tundra, I, I plus six and V plus after bridge. Though rare, the augmented chord occurs in rock. Music almost always as a linear embellishment linking an opening tonic chord with the next chord, for example John Lennon's, just like Starting Over, and the Beatles' All My Loving. Thus, with an opening tonic chord, an augmented chord results from ascending or descending movement between the fifth and sixth degrees, such as in the chord progression I, I plus six. This progression forms the verse for Oasis's 2005 single, Let There Be Love, I, I plus, six, for in classical music, the augmented triad differs from the other kinds of triad, the major triad, the minor triad, and the diminished triad, in that it does not naturally arise in a diatonic scale. Although it could be conceptualized as a triad built on the third degree of a harmonic minor scale, or melodic minor scale, it virtually never occurs in this way due to the harsh dissonance of the chord. Striking examples of its use may be found in Mozart's keyboard minuet K355. It first occurs as a passing chord on the third beat of bar 1, D, G, B. 
However, it comes into more striking prominence in the six-bar sequential passage starting on the first beat of bar 5, DF. A. According to Aubin Raymar, in this minuet flowing counterpoints woven among closely crowded chromaticisms and richly variegated harmony, sequential progressions in either direction coupled with unexpected dissonance. Such resources used with a mastery of concentration intensify the emotion which stirs within the brooding phrases of a perfectly balanced poem. Its rarity makes the augmented triad a special chord that touches on the atonal. Its uses to suspend tonality are famous. For example, in Arnold Schoenberg's Walzer, Funf Klavierstuck Op 23 No. 5. An earlier example may be found at the opening of Franz Liszt's Faust Symphony, where a sequence of augmented triads unfolds as arpeggios. However, the augmented triad occurs in tonal music with a perfectly tonal meaning, since at least J.S. Bach. See the surprising first chord D, FB, in the opening chorus to his cantata A Siege Gott, Vom Himmel C. Daring, BWV2. Other examples may be found in the work of Joseph Haydn. See, for example, bars 5 to 8 of the trio from Haydn's string quartet op 54 number 2. Also in Richard Wagner's Siegfried Idol. And in Chopin's Stormy Prelude number 24. The left hand piano arpeggios outline an augmented triad D, FA, in bars 47 to 50. The sudden change in dynamics from forte to a hushed piano in these bars highlights the emotional intensity of this passage. An augmented triad results diatonically in minor mode from a dominant chord where the fifth, the second degree, is replaced by the third degree as an anticipation of the resolution chord. Johannes Brahms' tragic overture also features the chord prominently, C, E, in alternation with the regular dominant, C. In this example, one can also see other aspect of the appeal of the chord to composers. It is a conflation of the fifth degree and the third degree, the usual contrasting keys of a piece in the minor mode. The whirl of the final bars of Mahler's Symphony No. 7 features an abrupt interpolation of an augmented chord, E, G, C, in the penultimate bar, before the final chord of C major. With the lead of Franz Schubert in his Wander Fantasy, Romantic composers started organizing many pieces by descending major thirds, which can be seen as a large-scale application of the augmented triad. Although it probably arose from other lines of development not necessarily connected to the augmented triad, this kind of organization is common. In addition to Schubert, it is found in music of Franz Liszt, Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, Louis Vierne, and Richard Wagner, among others. Expressive, in dramatic potential, the striking sound of the augmented triad lends itself to effective word painting, especially when conveying strong emotion. The first song in Robert Schumann's song cycle, Frauenliebe und die Leben, uses the chord FBD on the second syllable of the word emperor to convey the intensity of the singer's feeling for her beloved. In Purcell's opera Dido and Aeneas, on the other hand, the malign sorceress planning Dido's downfall sings the word hate to the accompaniment of an augmented chord, F, A, D. In J.S. Bach's Magnificat, the composer sets the words disperse its super boss meant chordis sway. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts, with a powerful chord sequence starting with an augmented triad, F, A, D, on the word meant. The passage is made all the more effective by being initiated by a sudden tempo change and a beat silence. This gives the chord considerable dramatic clout. In the opening scene of Wagner's Gutter Dammerung, one of the three Norns conveys her dread and uncertainty about what is going to pass. Sing, sister, win the rope of fate. The underlying orchestral accompaniment contains ominous augmented chords of ambiguous tonality. Tuning in just intonation, the interval between two major thirds and an octave, two sad face five to four, two, is 32 to 25, which is flatter by a septimal clysmo of size 225 to 224 than the septimal major third with ratio 9 to 7. While septimal mint one temperament tempers out the septimal clysma, some other temperaments, for example, miracle temperament, do so also, and in all of these temperaments, the augmented triad may be identified with a circle of two major and one septimal major thirds, making up an octave. Augmented chord table.